Hi there, thanks for signing up for the DJ Event Planner trial. My name's Alex and I'm your support rep here in the UK. Today I'm going to give you a quick overview on DJ EP and how you can set it up fairly quickly. First thing you'll need to do is log into your account. You can either do this via djfinder.com and clicking on DJ and client entrance or you can do it very quickly by going to djeventplanner.com and clicking on log on in the top right corner again both will get you to the same point when you signed up you will have been asked to put in a username and password this is where you'll enter those in there and then you click log on for the purpose of this demonstration I'll be using our demo account So once you've logged in, this is your main dashboard. Don't be scared, it's very very easy to get around. The first thing you'll notice is you've got a massive calendar right in the centre. This gives you an overview of the current month and allows you to see what's currently booked, what's upcoming and what's gone in the month. It also gives you options to add things like birthdays. For example, on October 17th, Troy Ackerman, the creator of DJ Event Planner, it's his birthday. On the right hand side you'll see that you've got a to-do items. You've also got administrative to-do items. Alongside this you'll also have details of events and today's details as well. For example we have booking status is currently available as we have no bookings and we have one that's pending. On the top you'll see that you have the toolbar and to the left we have the main menu. Now when you first log into your account you will need to verify your email and you'll also need to set up your account. You'll notice that in your administrative to-do items you'll have a few flashing icons. As you can see here we have one that says we have messages in our inbox it's the same icon that you will have for your setup items. You can either click these and go directly to the setup page or you can access it via the main menu by clicking account and then company info. You'll be greeted with this page and if you wish to edit the details all you do is click on edit you'll be able to change your company details along with your password login as well and if need be you can also change your email do bear in mind if you do change your email you will need to verify that it's a real email again so next thing is to set up your company packages or products most of the things that you'll be using are in the setup and website tools section on the main menu. So let's get started with setting you up with your packages. Now as a mobile disco or a mobile DJ chances are you have different packages or different size setups depending on the, the, the gig itself. I'm a mobile DJ down in the south coast of the UK and I have three setups. So I have my account set up accordingly to different sizes, different rates for each one. Obviously this is completely up to you how you want to run this. What I usually say is have a play. You can't go wrong and if need be you can just delete straight away any of the packages you've created. So how do you create a package? First of all click on setup in the main menu and then you'll see pass way down you've got packages, add-ons and equipment. First thing we'll look at is packages. Click on packages and on the demo account you'll see that we have three packages and one inactive package. Now if you wish to add a package you simply click on add package at the top of the screen and you're greeted with this page. 
The first thing you need to decide is whether or not this is going to be an active package that customers can select on your website. So this package name we're going to call demo package 143 just as an example. Then you can write a little description about the package. Do bear in mind this description is visible on the client side, on the customer side, if you decide to use some of the website tools. So I'm going to put this is a demo package and is to show new users how to set up a package. It's a basic text editor. So if I do a double line like that, there will be a break in the paragraph. This setup is fairly large. Now, the next point of call is internal notes. You can use this to keep a track of things. So, say for example, you just want to remind yourself the setup that you've put. So, for example, equipment, standard DJ booth, two large speakers, three lighting effects, one dance floor. So, you've now put in the details of of what the package is going to entail for you in the internal notes. Next thing you need to do is set up the financial side of things. So you can either do this as a flat rate or as an hourly rate. If you do it as a flat rate, simply put in the price as a default price. So for example, this package, if we did it as a flat rate, would be 450. You can then decide whether or not you want to have a default deposit a set amount or a percentage on this I'm taking a set amount which is 150 alternatively you can add a percentage in the next box along the next thing you need to decide is what your default length is so this is basically how long your shows last on average most here in the UK tend to last between four to six hours this is entirely up to you again on mine I've put a default package length of five hours next thing you need to do is decide how much your overtime rate is going to be so if your package goes past five hours how much per hour do you want to take if you go over that five hours some people don't, some people let it go, some people don't, some people are very strict. Again, it's all a case of trial and error. Put in however much you feel or your current structure allows you to. On this, we're going to allow 50 per hour. And you can also set per half hour as well. So I'm going to set 35 for half hour. If your rate structure is hourly, then I recommend you tick hourly and then you adjust your hourly rate accordingly here so we'll bring up calculator you do have a built-in calculator up the top here 450 divided by 5 means my average price is 90 pounds per hour so you pop 90 in the hourly rate if you're a multi-op you can look into doing employee wages I'll do a separate tutorial on this a bit later on the next thing you need to do is go down and decide whether or not you want to include this on a request information form I advise having this included because this package will then show so the customer can then pick what size package roughly they want to go for when trying to get a quote from you the next thing is instant quote generator some people prefer to use an instant quote and give a price directly online so you can choose all events 
do not use this package or only selected events for this event I'm going to for this package I'm going to allow it for all events you can update these via the setup page I'll show you how to do that in just a moment the next thing is an autoresponder so if they do get an instant quote you can set it so that an email goes straight out to the customer advising them that, that you've received their quote and you'll be in touch shortly for example you can put demo account your quote and then a simple email such as thank you for your email we are currently looking into availability excuse the spelling I'm trying to do this quickly for you guys we will be in touch shortly something along those lines obviously that's completely adaptable to what you want to put in there next thing is the big orange button at the bottom click save and that's your package put on the system it's now ready to be used in some of your website tools now as I was saying earlier on you can have different event types to change these in the setup menu click on application then click on general sorry tell a lie click on event form you'll see you're greeted with this screen the first thing you have is event types now not many people probably do bar and bat mitzvahs so chances are you'll want to remove those you may not want to do corporate events so you just remove those if we carry on scrolling down you'll see that we have quite a few and you can edit this list according to whatever you want to add in or take out do you remember though any changes you make you must scroll down to the bottom and save settings the other thing you can do here is change the color of your events as they appear on your calendar most people generally have green as a booked or a confirmed booking as you can see here yellow for pending on this account sent information is a nice bright purple so you uh... nice bright future sorry so you can uh... see which ones you need to chase up lost sales are never booked on here we've greyed out some people like to have these red so they can uh, keep a track now you've set your event types you've created your packages the next thing is to look at the website tools so back to the main menu click on website tools and you can see we have a lot of different things here the major thing you'll need to do is customize your layout this allows you to make your website tools match your current color schemes at the top here you can put a link to your company logo you can also put in a background image as well for example if you use a background rainbow drop you can link to that and it will match exactly alternatively if you don't use a background image you can change the background color of the page we have a basic web safe color picker where you can pick colors out of the basic range so on this occasion we're going to go a dark red press select and I want to change my body text to white 